Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to well, this release video from, of course, Pokemon Company, and with of course new Pokemon. I do believe there are six new, while four are really new. The other two are from Koro Koro, or they re-release with food footage. Anyway, uh, I'm being a bit late on this video, and it's mostly due to that I'm actually uh -huh, was at work while it was going on. But that is actually all right. Uh, it means I can bring a more genuine reaction to it, or try to be genuine anyway, but I, what I'm trying to say <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that at least, you know, I can look at this trailer with, um, and just share my thoughts and my hopes and whatnot. So, without further ado, let's look into this video. I've actually seen others making videos here, and uh, with a mixed results, I kind of want to give my feel for it. Uh, now, the first one here is that the Wimp Out Pokemon uh, Wimpod, which is a second bug water type and that's a very very nice uh typing and that contract would of course be in a trilobite it's really cool we haven't had a trilobite mon since um um since cabotops and that was with a fossil mon so i'm really really looking forward to seeing um more genuine trilobites this would probably is what cabotops would have been had it not been fossilized so with that in mind this is actually really cool so yeah Really looking forward to see this mon, and uh, for all I care, uh, the typing is kind of up there. It's one of those typings that hasn't been done right uh, as of yet, uh, only as Suskit at the moment, and I definitely can see this thing becoming very, very good. I really hope it becomes very good. And at the moment, it has that wimp out ability, which basically works like an eject card. Now, whether or not we have to decide which Pokemon are switched in, we have to see. But it's a nice ability, definitely a more competitive type of ability, but I'll definitely would have seen something else, because that means this mod can never set up. And that is kind of unfortunate, considering the typing it represents. It's a good offensive typing. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to see what happens with this guy. This definitely feels like a first stage mod, and I hope that this is follow-up by my, much my, minor mod. Now, after this, we actually come to my favorite... Which is actually Bond Sweet. The reason I like Bond Sweet is for one reason. This is the Aku Fruit. For people who don't know what Aku Fruit is, it's a toxic fruit. Like, people are dying by that fruit. The seeds are black. You know, I I'll leave the name down below, but Aku Fruit is a very, very, like, it's, um, it's, um, very distinguished, uh, kind of dish for, um, Hawaiian people, or I do believe it, tropical islands. And, uh, yeah. It's basically, is you, you can't eat the black seed. Like, you eat the white um, kind of meat around it, but not the black seed itself. So with that in mind, this concept is not only cool, it's extremely relevant for the region. So for me, seeing an Aku-type Pokemon, it's really cool. And I hope the Evolved Evolution is, of course, you know, the, the, the fruit itself, or the, the core of the fruit. This looks the first stage, and it's definitely going to be a, a tree stage, I believe, I hope. And like I said... It's really toxic, so I wouldn't be surprised if this turned out to be a grass toxic at the end. But like I said, really looking forward to this mod. I do believe this is one of the smarter choices uh, for a Pokemon as of yet. Behind, of course, that weird fish mod. Next one is the Klefki of this generation, Kamfei. Nothing to it. It's a pure fairy type thing, and it has priority in uh, Triage, which actually makes sure that recovery move has priority. Like I said, it's the cliff key of this generation, nothing to it. Next one is probably what most people are thinking are the coolest one, Mudsdale. And I'll agree, it's been quite a long time since we had a horse Pokemon, and an offensive one at that. This one really look way, way offensive. And of course, stamina makes sure that offensive hits does raise its uh, attack and uh, or defense. And Mudsdale just looks the part. It looks like a very, very good offensive mon. Now, we do see that um, this Pikachu clone of this generation did outspeed, which means it definitely isn't a speedy one, and it was super, super heavy. Uh, I really like when they are making like that in mind, like this mon is heavy, or, you know, having something that ensures that it's heavy, basically, because that means one thing, that they kind of implementing that grass not kills this mon, just so you guys know, low kick and whatnot. So, yeah. With that said, I definitely can see his mon getting such as heavy slam. It, it, it looks like to be a, an in-stage mon, or at least one stage mon of the, and, uh, all I hope is, like I said there, that this mon is, uh, 
an offensive uh, ground side because we really haven't that many. And to be honest, it would be great to see at least this happen once. So yeah, nothing more to it. it looks like it has. Um, oh, I should say that it looks like it has a synergy move. Um, but really, we don't know what that is at this moment. Uh, this is follow up with, of course, the um, <laughs> Mimiku or Mimiu, Mimiku. And uh, yeah, uh, Hoodlum's Crafter or Callum was right about this one. It looks like it has an automatic substitute when it's switched in, but they actually end the trailer when they reveal its real form. Look at this. This guy goes down, which basically means it didn't take damage, and when it fell, uh, it said this guy was busted, and then. I was really hoping for a shapeshift there, but it didn't happen. But as far as I know, it probably is only... It's going to look like that, but it could also be in a fashion that, like Furfro, they could redesign it from other mods, which is something I would really look forward to. So let's hope for something like that. Or actually, let's just hope it isn't crap. Like, that, that ability is very good. Uh, I wonder how that hit with horse like this hyper voice and stuff like that. There are so many questions. Uh, and I do believe the last one here is uh, the Beware or Beware, I don't know. And he has a fluffy ability, which is an ability that doubles the defenses as Furcoat is doing, but uh, it is followed up with, of course, as you probably just said, that's rich, that it works like Bright Skin, that you are hurt by, of course, offensive hits. Really, really, really badly. But, you know, that is pretty much as it is. I really like that be Beware mod. I do believe this is one of the, like, funnier mods that have been introduced. And uh, we need a bear mod, which is, you know, great offensive. I do believe we lack that. Um, I'm sorry to say, like, all the, all the bear mods have been kind of subpar. So having at least one is, um, is great. Though then again, you know, it's probably going to be the part again. Like, they're going to screw that up. I really hope they don't, but at the same time, like, what what can one do, right? It, it's it's one of those things. Um, Bearmont tend to have a have a curse on them, really. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, I do believe it um, it worked out really, really well. Um, I do like the new mods, and I do like that they are showcasing. There is a great variety here. Hopefully, you know they're not revealing the whole roster. They, they're just showing that. They're introducing a lot of months. Most like Generation 5, I hope. I do believe Generation 2 had a smaller roster introduced uh, or and got a high one in Generation 3 and then reduced in 4 and Generation 5 got big again. I do hope for some kind of contrast like that uh, or, or rather, you know, that's the dream right now because the way they're showcasing so many months, I really want that to happen. Um... And yeah, outside of that, you know, the last part is nothing really too big, depending on how you see it. Um, hosting global links, the show in hyper training, uh, which hopefully is uh, a way to, um, or at least I hope, that uh, you could refine your mods at the end there. But you know, that's pretty much the size of it. Like, I'm just going to pause it here. Pause it there. There, there we go. Uh, anyway. Uh, I really hope that the last or the hyper training thing is based on um, an idea I had a way way back where uh, the way to actually make mods uh, competitive no matter who they were. Like I really like to breed Pokemon stuff like that. I do think it's a great way of uh, contributing for Wi-Fi battles, but it always bothered me that you are restricted that. The ones that get hatched are pretty much useless, depending on the situation. Um, look, I'm not saying that every mod should be the same, but, I mean, for competitive battle, I kind of want that. Uh, but we don't know if the IVs can be adjusted for hidden power and stuff like that. Probably not, but the EV tend to look like uh, they're going to be patched at some form. Uh, or hopefully even adjusted to your liking. If that's the case, and that's nice, you know, screw your setbacks, basically. That would be awesome for leaks too, like, to adjust your mon as it is. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. Um, didn't really have too many thoughts, actually. I thought that we would share more, but there really aren't much more to say. We can only hope that this Pokemon game becomes as good as, you know, previous ones have been, basically. But the roster is bigger. That's dream. That's dream. 
Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you've seen something that I missed, make sure to write it down below or something you want to contribute with. I'd love to see you guys, you know, debating, you know, what is this and what is it building up for. Uh, and also, Aki, Akuberry, check that, or Akufruit, check that out. I swear, this grass mod is going to be the, the bitch of this generation. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, of course. I swear it's going to be a grass fire, I'm sure. Anyway, take care, guys. Bye.